with Transport Minister Depio Peters announcing a new one this week. Today, Molefi argued that the minister is punishing the board for acting against former CEO Collins Letswalo. Letswalo was dismissed after revelations that he allegedly demanded a 5.9 million rand annual salary. Here's a look at how events unfolded around the Prasa debacle. Uh, the pack. Former passenger rail agency of South Africa board chairperson Popo Molefe wants to be reinstated. He and several former directors are asking the court to declare Transport Minister DePaul Peter's decision to dissolve the Prasa board unlawful. The minister's decision came after the storm around this man, former acting chief executive Collins Letsualo. Last month, the Sunday Times reported that a month after his arrival at the rail agency, Letsualo demanded the same 5.9 million rand package that former boss Lucky Montana had received. Prasa dismissed Letsualo hours after he had held a briefing saying his salary was legitimate. Prasa said it never approved Letsualo's salary package, adding that he never followed rules and regulations. But the board of Prasa, headed by Popo Malefe, had something coming from the transport minister. She dissolved the entire board last week and announced a new one this week. Malefe says in an affidavit that Peter's action interferes with the ongoing investigations at the agency and may in fact be an effort to frustrate the investigations. We'll take a